Good afternoon, this is Ron Colbert. I'm uh, filling in for Jim Lakey today here at Sandy Land Shepherd Center. We're we broadcast on Cable Channel 3 and on Sandy Land Shepherd, Shepherd Center. Never mind, shepherdcenter.org. Sandylandcenter.org, our website. You'd think I know that <laughs> since I built it. Uh, today is Wednesday. Uh, the 13th of February, I want to remind all you gentlemen out there, I strongly urge you to go out and utilize your skills today in order to avoid any trouble tomorrow because tomorrow's Valentine's Day. So get a jump start on it and get it done, fellas. Uh, today is supposed to be 43 degrees for the high today. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, 58 degrees for the high today. And the snow they were predicting the other day, well, yeah, we didn't get any of that either. Uh, tomorrow it's going to be 49. And on fr Friday, yeah, it looks like it's coming up to be 43. And the snow that they were predicting for then doesn't look like it's going to happen either. So, sure could use some moisture out here. Uh, today's birthdays are Melinda Davis and Christy Snyder. We sure hope you guys have a great birthday. Uh, enjoy it. Tomorrow we have uh, Virgil and Joan Young are having an anniversary. And then on uh, Friday, yeah, it looks like Hazel Jordan, one of our longtime members, is going to have a birthday. Happy birthday especially to Hazel Jordan. We miss you. Come and visit. And uh, Carl and Nikki Bear have an anniversary. And then on Saturday, it uh, looks like it's Charles Smith's birthday. So we'll be tormenting him in the first chance we get. Uh, the Rec Commission has, uh, of course, announced this before that they uh, changed the date for their Dodge City Casino trip. It's uh, going to be next Tuesday. Uh, February the 19th. They'll be leaving the Rec Commission at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, you'll get a chance to do some shopping in Dodge City for those who want to shop. And, uh, everybody else, uh, they'll be at the casino about 9.30 and they'll be leaving for home at about 2.30. For those of you that go, wish you the best of luck. Have fun. Uh, this evening, the Stafford County Economic Development uh, thing is uh, having an open house at 7 p.m. Now it's going to be in the Stafford County Annex. If any of you folks that haven't been over there, it really is a nice facility. Uh, so come on out and uh, hear about what they've accomplished in the last year and what kind of plans they're having for the next year. Uh, the, it'll give you a chance to meet who's on the uh, board of directors and see what they're trying to do to uh, you help the county and where your tax dollars are going. So get on out there and take a look at that and see how uh, how it's working for us. Uh, tomorrow, of course, the Senior Center will be holding a Valentine's Tea uh, here in town, and it will be at 2 p.m. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. You know, it's Valentine's Day, so Every time you get a chance, you ought to uh, enjoy that. They'll be serving cookies and tea and having a good old time over there. Uh, something that's been in the news a little bit and wanted to talk about is the Stafford Mercantile. Uh, it seems to be running pretty well. It's quite a, an accomplishment for the community over in Stafford. And they're open. And I just thought I'd run through their ad. You'll see it on our bulletin board uh, and uh, they have a lot of fun specials on it uh, today for intro for example uh, they have an ice cream soda buy one get the second one at half price uh, Friday sounds really good to me uh, shakes you buy one and get a second one half price I could do two of them easy uh, and then on Saturday banana splits for only two dollars uh, what a great thing just cruise on through have a good time they're open from Monday through Thursday at 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Friday and Saturday 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sunday they're open even uh, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. So they're a wonderful uh, addition to uh, 
uh, Stafford and to the county. So we all ought to get out there and support them, and where else are you going to buy a banana split for two bucks? Uh, now for the fun stuff, food. I like food. Uh, over in Maxville at the VIP Center today, they're having a, uh, today is of course Ash Wednesday, and they're having a fish patty, hamburger patty, uh, and then tomorrow Swiss steak with tomatoes, and Friday chicken and rice casserole. Here in town at the Sunflower Senior Center, we have uh, cranberry chicken, which sounds really good with noodles, today, uh, pork roast with mashed potatoes tomorrow, and Hawaiian chicken with rice on Friday. That's, a, oh, and there were some other things I wanted to tell you. Hang on one second, because I nearly forgot about it. Uh, the police also are having a public meeting at uh, 9 a.m., a uh, week from Friday down in the basement at the uh, church. And it's just basically an informational meeting for people to get out and get a chance to uh, uh, actually meet our, our police department, ask some questions, and uh, talk to them about what's going on. And uh, it gives people a chance to interact with our, our city police in a non-stressful manner, shall we say. And uh, I understand this is not going to be the only one they're going to have, but this is a really good idea, and I'd like to see the community come out and support it. Let it you know, if you have concerns, comments, or, or questions, or, you know, complaints, or kudos, you know, bring them to the meeting and uh, talk to the folks about it. Uh, it's kind of like anything else. How do you know it's fixed if you don't hear it, if you don't see it? So... Uh, I think it's a great idea, and I'd like to see uh, people come out and uh, enjoy that a little bit. On that note, the, uh, that's it for news. So the word of the day is this, speak well of your enemies. You made them. This is Ron Colbert, hoping you have a great Wednesday, and uh, let's keep looking out for rain.